Oh, hey. Uh, hi. I'm Dylan. Just working on some new tricks. Feels good to be back out on my board. I started having these panic attacks last year, and it totally killed my skills. The first time I had a panic attack, I was sitting in math class, staring out the window as usual. My heart started pounding, I was sweating, I felt like I couldn't breathe, and I thought I was having a heart attack. Dude, I was totally freaking out. My next panic attack happened when I was watching a movie in my basement. The same thing. My heart started pounding, I got really hot and sweaty, and felt like throwing up. It freaked me out so much that I had my parents take me to the hospital, because I thought I was dying. The attacks happened again and again. I never knew when they would happen, or why they were happening. I was convinced I was dying of an incurable disease or something. Doctors did all kinds of tests and couldn't find anything wrong with me. Finally, my family doctor told me that I was having panic attacks, and diagnosed me with panic disorder. <laughs> now I'm no scientist, but I do know a thing or two about panic disorder from personal experience. Panic disorder happens when your brain overreacts to your environment, and sends your body into panic mode. Think of it this way. The brain is like a control center, and this little guy, we'll call him Norman, Hi there. he's in charge. He takes in the sights, smells, sounds, and other messages from outside my body, and then decides what to do with those messages. My brain has a special alarm bell he rings in case of danger. If any danger is present, Norman presses a set of controls that put in place a chain reaction to get me ready to fight the danger or run for safety. Uh, for example, let's say I come face to face with a martial arts ninja. This guy rings the alarm bell and presses controls which set into motion a whole bunch of processes that get me ready to fight or run. He pumps blood to my muscles and heightens my senses. My heart rate goes up and I'm ready for anything. Key word here, adrenaline. Now, when the martial arts ninja is there, the body's response is helpful. In panic disorder, the little guy goes overboard and begins to sense a threat when no threat is present. Normal things send him into panic mode. He rings the alarm bell and sends the messages to the body that there's danger. But then the body is confused because it has all these sensations and there is no danger. When this happens, it's a panic attack. Man, I had to get rid of these panic attacks. They were totally messing with my life. I started avoiding crowded places or stressful situations because I was afraid I'd have another panic attack. My family doctor sent me to a psychologist. The psychologist and I started doing something called cognitive behavioral therapy. At first I could not figure out what this therapist was talking about half the time. He asked me about my thoughts and feelings. Not my usual thing to say the least. But then I got the point. The therapist had me tell him how my body felt when I started to panic. Next, the therapist had me tell him what I would think once my body started overreacting. I would usually think things like, there's something really wrong with me, or I'm having a heart attack, or I'm going to die, or I'm losing my mind. The therapist said these thoughts made the panic worse. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious now, but at the time, I really thought I was dying. It took a while, but I learned to recognize the signs of panic. I started to change my thoughts and would say, Okay, Dylan, you're having a panic attack. Take deep breaths, and this will pass. The more panic attacks I lived through and overcame, the less scary they were, and eventually they just sort of went away. Good thing, too, because while I was sidelined with panic for half last year, my friends were all out here boarding. By the way, I invented a new trick that I like to call the Norman. It really gets the heart pumping. Panic disorder is a real medical condition. If you or someone you know has panic disorder, talk to your doctor and ask for help. You can also visit this website to learn more about panic disorder. www.teenmentalhealth.org